Hello, people. That's me, Megan. I'm your Wednesday, and uh, decided to wear a hat today, even though it's not winter time, and it's actually really hot outside. Whatever. Um. So, to the questions: best and worst way to deal with homophobia. Um. I guess the worst way I've dealt with homophobia. We had this. Um. I'm in the GSA of my school, the Gay Straight Alliance. And we had this thing where the eighth graders could come in and see the clubs they join next year, and we were handing out flyers, and a lot of people were um, uh, giving us dirty looks or laughing at us or um, blatantly telling their kids, "Oh, you you're not going to need that. Just just walk away." So you know, I dealt with it firsthand, and it, it hurts and it sucks, and it's going to happen. But um, the the best way to deal with it would be, um, you know, don't be mean, don't stoop to their level, don't do that. Just um, if I have it confronted to my face, I usually tell them, uh, I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, I wish you the best of luck in life, and I hope one day you can live a uh, happy, hate-free life like me. Um, which is kind of like a win for you, because, you know, you're basically telling them, you know, you're wishing them luck, which is good, so you seem like the nice guy, but at the same time, you just piss them off. Because, you know, they, want, they don't want to be like you. So, there's a, a bonus. That's, I think that's the best way, is to compliment them. And then the worst way would be to uh, stoop down to their level. Because you, you never want to give them ammunition. You know, they already, for whatever reason, don't like you. Don't call them a name. Don't stoop to their level. Because they'll just go tell all their friends, Hey, all lesbians call people this name. Or all gays do this. Or all bi's do this. Or transgender do this. So, don't stoop to their level. I think you should just either ignore them or, um, you know, wish them best of luck. And uh, tell them they, they hope... Uh, you hope they can live a life like you. Um, if you could live in a world where heterosexuals, I cannot read my handwriting, whether the minority and being LGBT was a norm, would you? Why or why not? I think I'd want to visit it. I don't think I want to live there, but I'd like to check it out. I think it'd be interesting to go to a place where coming out is no longer necessary because that's the norm. You know what I mean? So, where you wouldn't deal with homophobia. Where seeing two people the same gender holding hands walking somewhere isn't weird or looked at funny. So I think I would like to visit it and see what that's like. But I don't think I would have lived there because, like, gay people have so... Have, the like, cool stuff that, like, straight people don't. Like, no one gives a crap if a bunch of straight people go and have some parade being proud of how straight they are. Like, no one cares. But we have that. We can do that. We have the rainbow is now like ours. We have taken that color that we learn, those colors that we learn in elementary school, and have taken them. You know, street people don't have that. So I think I don't think I would want to live there. I think I'd like to visit it to see, uh, you know, kind of what's going on, what it would be like. But I don't think I'd want to live there because I kind of like my life now. Oddly enough, believe it or not, I do. Uh, favorite television LGBT couple. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. I'm gonna all right. I'm gonna lose cool points right now. Um, I don't watch the L word. It's been a pain in the butt to find. Um, it sounds interesting, and you know I should watch it, but I haven't. So I, I don't have anyone from there that I like. Sorry, I, I apologize. Um, I do like uh, recently. Spoiler for Glee. Um, Brittany and Santana. Since like season one, I've been wanting them to get together, and I've been pissed that they haven't. And then when you know, Brittany went off with uh, someone else. Oh, I'm so upset. But I'm glad that they're together. So that's one. I like them. And then, um, that's about it. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Um, but I like them together. Brittany and Santana. Woo! Um, so that's it. Uh, leave us stuff. Check out everyone else. Um, leave us comments. Uh, I will put my Tumblr down below. Leave us stuff to talk about. Comment on my hat. See what it says? Can you see it? That's right, middle of spring in Texas. It's like freaking 80 degrees outside. Wearing a hat, and you guys must also think I have like two t shirts because I'm wearing this one again. But I promise I have more. I have a lot more. I just don't. Maybe you'll see another hat next, next video. Or you have to watch. You have to leave. In order to see another hat, you must leave us something to talk about. That's the deal. I don't get that, I don't wear hats. Unless you don't want me to wear hats. In which case you don't do that, I wear a hat. 
either way, so leave us stuff. It's very important.